Hi there, it's Iman here at White Lance. We now have a feature that enables you to allow your customers to hire multiple freelancers for the same job. And if you enable that and save the page, your customers will then be able to post a single job, receive proposals from different freelancers, and accept multiple proposals. So here's how it works. I've posted a job that says I need to hire two freelancers. And in fact, let me start from the beginning. So I'm going to post the job here. I need to hire three freelancers. Here's the job. And I'm going to select this item, multiple hire. But you can change this word to whatever you like in your content file. It could be a description of how this functionality works, or I would suggest changing it to something like, I want to hire more than one freelancer, for example. OK, so now I post my job. Great. So now, as a freelancer, I'm going to go and apply. And I'm going to log in as another freelancer and have a second freelancer apply as well. Just ignore these milestone creation. It's not necessary on your system. It's just one of the features that we have happen to have enabled for this particular setup. In any case, we now have two freelancers who've applied for this job. And we should be able to see these two proposals here. Great. So now I'm going to view, <clears throat> view this proposal and start a contract. And here's where the functionality kicks in. Once a contract has been created under the original job, what our system does is it posts a duplicate job and on the system and enables freelancers to then go and apply for that new job. So now we have a live contract with the first freelancer. But if we take a look here, you can see a duplicate job has been created here. So you can see here, this is the live job, manage the job. But here is the new job. And you can see there are proposals here. So if I click here now, the first thing that happened is any proposals that were sent to the original job will, apart from the one, apart from the proposal, from the freelancer who was actually hired, so any of the other, the non-hired freelancer from the first job will appear here, as you can see. So this freelancer, has no, no one has specifically applied to the new duplicated job, but their proposal has been copied across to this duplicated job. So, you know, we could go ahead right now and this customer could then hire this the second freelancer who, who applied immediately right now. Um, but it also means that a third freelancer can go in and they will see the same, what will, will to their eyes appear as the same job. Now, normally, as you know, if a, when a contract has been 
responded when a job has been responded to and a contract has been started the job disappears but you can see here it's still appearing and it's it's the duplicated job so now as a, as the freelancer number 3 i can apply to this to this job And this is the second job, the duplicated job. We should now have two proposals here. And there we go. And this multiple job system will effectively, the cycle will continue. And the cycle is anytime a contract is started for this job, one of the freelancers is hired, a duplicate job will be created. So you could Post a, a customer can post a single job and hire a hundred freelancers without having to ever post another job. Um, and you know, th that will have created 99 duplicate jobs automatically. Um, and then when the customer has hired all the people that they want to hire, all they'll need to do is they'll close the job of the latest duplicate uh, system, uh, the, the latest duplicate job that has been created. So in, in my case, I've already hired one freelancer. I actually don't need to hire anybody else. I'm just going to close this job. And that's how the system works. So the name of the feature is not entirely accurate. So you post one job as a customer and you can hire multiple people without having to post any other jobs. But in reality, there it's creating a duplicate job and not sending out the same kind of notifications. Uh, so for example, you, I, I've posted this one job that will have automatically sent out email notifications to all the freelancers. And when the duplicate job is created after I've hired the freelancer for the first job, that's not going to send out the notifications again. It's it's just going to be available to freelancers to apply to. All the proposals will have been copied across the duplicated job. And anyone who tries to apply for the first job with that unique URL will actually be applying for this duplicated job. So the system is 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 working in a streamlined way. But what's really happening behind the scenes is a duplicate job is being posted and freelancers are then in interacting with that duplicated job. In any case, it helps a customer post a single job and hire multiple people. And it helps free it allows freelancers to apply in a simple way um, to, 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 to a job that has been duplicated behind the scenes. I hope that was clear. Sorry, it sounds a little confusing. Um, test it out, see how it works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with us as always. Thanks.